All right, I'm going to be uh, making the lariat out of temporary lariat out of uh, clay. I've got some ideas how I'll do it before I take it to be cast. But for now, this is what's going to have to be on the piece to show where I'm going to have it attached and what it's going to look like. I'm going to finish up this piece today. And by the way, I've decided upon a title. It's an old title that I used on a, on a bronze that I did one of the first. In fact, I think it was the first horse and cowboy piece or horse and human piece I ever did. And it was called A Difference of Opinion. And it was a bucking horse piece. Like, kind of similar to the pose of this one, actually, but different on the front legs. And I, I've always loved that title. And I figure it's been over 40 years since I used it last. And that piece is no longer available and hasn't been available for years. So I figure why not? All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. A difference of opinion. One way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting, and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo, and uh, you need a passcode to see them. But that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link. So please uh, consider that and let's get busy on sculpting now. End of promotion. I'm sorry. I'm, I was working off camera and uh, I thought I was on camera. Well, anyway. We just put the pocket on. It really wasn't much to see, just a flat piece of clay and getting it lined up on the uh, shaft. I'm gonna raise the uh, flap just a little. Because it would, the leather would get a memory, especially if it was wet and then it dried. And you can bet these shafts would get wet once in a while <laughs> going across a river or a stream. The uh, lariat that I'm going to make is going to be out of uh, twine, if I can find some. And I'll dip the twine in my paint which will seal it and also stiffen it and make it cast, uh, moldable. I've got to make it so that they can cast it. Uh, they can make it also out of uh, wound up uh, bronze wire, but I'm going to try it a different way. I've got a lot of uh, little straps that I've got to put on this saddle. I'm not, I haven't done that yet, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to wait for a lot of this stuff for when I get an order for this bronze, and then that way I'll uh, go ahead and get this all completely tightened up. I'm just making sure my flap is the same size of, uh, as the one on this side. OK. 
Okay, I'm putting the flap on the uh, pocket. Okay, I'm just going to put the tacks on the bottom part of the uh, chap on this side. And that will do it for today. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a few rocks on uh, this piece on the base just to kind of give it something more than just flat ground. I don't want to put too many, but I want to put enough that uh, it will look interesting. All right, that's a difference of opinion. And uh, I'm really happy the way this turned out. A lot of detail on this piece. And detail costs money to cast, unfortunately. Last uh, year, in November, uh, I had a, a gentleman take these clays, this clay here and, and this clay here, to a show in Las Vegas. And uh, he had them put inside a plexiglass box, which I've got to take apart now so I can get the clays out and uh, give him back his boxes. So that's what I'm going to do the rest of the day. And uh, a difference of opinion and a life honorably lived. I think that was the title of it. <laughs> anyway. All right, I just called the foundry, and uh, I'm going to be going over Thursday to get a bid on those two clays, and uh, so I'll see you on Thursday when I post a video of my trip to the foundry. I don't know what my next project's going to be. Right now, I've got a couple of those two clays that I've got to get out of those boxes. But then I got to figure out where I'm going to put them in my studio. <laughs> I'm running out of space to store my stuff. And then I've got some ideas for the next piece. So we'll see what happens. Good night, everybody. Have a great night. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.